Welcome! And follow me as I up Pole A16S and today I will show you how you can record a screen on this device. So to get started you want to pull down your notifications, extend the list by swiping down once more and this will show you a list of toggles. Hopefully one of the toggles would be screen recording but it actually looks like it's not. So we will need to add it. And we do so by tapping on this box right here. This will show us all the toggles that are turned off by default. So we have pages right here. So just locate screen recording toggle. It's literally the last toggle for me. So once you find it, you can simply press on the plus. It gets added, as you can see. And now we can go back and we have access to it from our toggles right here. So from here, you can hold the toggle. Uh, I do recommend doing that the first time around. Uh, this takes you to the settings of screen recording. Then you can just quickly get a, a look at how it's set by default. If something doesn't really fit your needs, you can obviously change it. I'm going to check out the uh, definition, which is set to medium. I would recommend selecting it to be high. This will change from 720p, which might look a little bit pixelated, to 1080p at 16 megabits per second. So we should have a nice and clear image. Now, going back, we also had uh, record system sounds, which are turned off by default, and we also have record microphone sounds, so both of them if you want to. Uh, or you can obviously turn this one off and this one on. It's completely up to you. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you're planning to record both, like system sound and microphone, I do urge you to use headphones for that, because uh, when you're using headphones, obviously you will hear the sound normally uh, through headphones, but at least the device will not be hearing the microphone will not be picking up uh, the sound that the phone is making through the speaker. This would create an unwanted echo effect that would be really not good on the recording. So, like I said, either uh, either use headphones or I believe you could also turn down the volume of your device and it would still record the sound, though I could be incorrect. You might want to test that out. Upload that with a frame rate, edit it to dynamic. I would just suggest hard copying it to 30. It's the highest one here and in my opinion it's still a, a low frame rate. 30 frames, especially for gameplay, it might just look very bad. So select it to be 30 at least. Obviously we don't have any higher option right here so that's as high as, high as you can go. And then we have some other uh, record front camera. So you can add the camera to the recording. It's going to create a tiny little circle on the screen recording. We have also show screen touches. So whenever you press the display, it will create a semi-transparent dot. I'll keep this on so you can see how it looks like. Below that we have a video encoding format uh, for best compatibility. Uh, we only have one, so not much choice here. And that's basically all the settings. So let's close this and let's find the toggle once more. This time around, we can just quickly tap on it. Uh, at uh, statement of use. That's kind of a weird way. Uh, I'm assuming this is just legal documents, privacy policy, and all that mumbo jumbo. So I agree and continue. Uh, it also requires access to a couple different things. So we have allow screen recording to take pictures and record video. Obviously, it's a screen recording, so it needs to record video. Uh, to record audio, we did select to record system audio, so it needs access to it. It also should ask us for, there we go, uh, manage calls and uh, phone calls. I believe every time a phone wants an access to microphone, it counts as, as managing calls. I do, I could be incorrect about it, but I, from what I've seen, it usually how it asks for it. So I'll just select allow. And it needs access to device uh, storage to save it. And there we go. From here, we can click on the red circle. And as you can see, it's now recording. So whatever I'll do right now will be recorded by the device. And once you're done recording whatever you are recording, you can interact with this overlay right here and click on the red square. This will automatically save your screen recording to your photos application. I'm gonna quickly open it up and show you the recording. As you can also see, uh, the little overlay that was visible with the timer and recording options is not visible on the screen recording itself. So there we go. 
that is how you would record your screen on this device and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching